Iran, Yemen, China, North Korea, Turkey, and many other countries on the globe have at one point or another started employing the practice of censoring the Internet domestically. This either partially or greatly restricted the international freedom of speech of its citizens. While a large portion of the world enjoys the ability to log into Twitter and say anything they want about their government and country, this is and the case in countries like Turkey, which enacted an active block of Twitter on March 20, 2014. How do countries carry out internet censorship? First way is ISP filter. One of the less controversial ways of blocking internet access to users within a country is to ask internet service providers ISPs nicely to do this themselves. Many developed countries around the world have attempted to use this method only to succumb to the will of the populace. However, more oppressive regimes can strong arm their ISPs into the same process. This is even easier when the entire internet infrastructure is state-owned. The problem fortunately with this method is that it's easy to circumvent. Any citizen can just use onion routing or a proxy to access the sites he wants. The government counts on citizens not being aware of these choices. However, it's inevitable that one day ISP filters will be completely ineffective as people become more educated about how to get around them. When proxies cause problems, Autonomous System No. AS and blocking provides a very controversial way to block access to particular websites. To make this easier to understand, each ISP has an ASN allocated for particular IP ranges it controls. If a government wants to block a website, it can rick its own infrastructure by allocating a smaller AS and creating a path of least resistance with an IP range containing the IP of the website it wants to block. This will direct routers to go to its own version of a particular website rather than the website itself. It wouldn matter whether you type the IP address or the URL for YouTube. You won't be able to access it either way because the government has fooled your router into thinking that the IP address is hosted in that particular country. TLD names server seizing if you e in possession of a top-level domain TLD server, you have a lot of flexibility. A top-level domain is what you see at the end of a domain name net, for example. As the country in control of a TLD, you can deny any domain name requests to it. This method is also easy to circumvent. If you know the IP address that the domain is pointed to, you can just type it up in your address bar and enter the site. About what we just covered? Post a comment below and continue this discussion.